Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about the charging system on a 22 Briggs motor. Some have a voltage regulator or a rectifier, and some don't. So this one here does. This wire comes from the coil, AC, alternating current, goes to this rectifier, voltage regulator, comes out under 15 volts, DC, which just comes out here, here, comes out here to the fuse, and then it charges your battery. Also powers everything too. And see this jumper wire? This is a DC comes out this side. This is for your lighting, your lights and stuff right here. Now on the other ones without a voltage regulator. So this one here is a 22 horse V twin, same thing as the other one. As you can see here, there's no jumper from here to here. This is your, this is your, your DC and this is your AC. So this wire has a diode in it and it converts, only allow current go one way, so it's a pulse DC. So this one here charges your uh, battery, but there's no jumper over here. So it has a separate one, which is uh, AC. So it comes here and it just powers up your lights and stuff to your accessories. So the sine wave, this is negative, this is positive. Then a sine wave, current goes one way, this way, and then and this way, it goes the other way. So if you have a diode and a... So AC will come this way. So on this side here, it'll be a pulse DC. It eliminates this side of the sine wave. So it's not pure DC, but it is, and then it's just enough to uh, charge your battery but not enough to uh, run uh, if you have a electric PTO on a, on your tractor this will drain your battery you have to have a bigger charging system on your motor uh
way to the bed. And I got 14 more. Remember that? You know the regulator's working. Alright, if you like this video, press thumbs up below. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.